So when I moved to Toronto, the whole different scene, like, you know, the people weren't the same. So it's like, it really forced me to kind of adjust in ways and kind of helped me learn how to play the field a bit better. So it's like, it's definitely like where I grew up as an adult. So that's why like that, this part of my life just sticks out to me because it, it molded me as to like wherever I am right now. So that's definitely what inspired 114. 114 was a process, man. Like it was like the hardest thing ever. Like I made like four or five different versions of this EP just weren't sitting, I just kept scrapping songs and songs, like 40, 50 songs just lying around that I haven't even touched, probably never gonna drop them. It's just like, I get mad tight with whatever I do, it's like I like everything to be on point. What I do is like, I sit on a record all day. The thing I realize is like, when you sit on a record for like all day and you're just listening it, you're making it, it just kind of becomes noise, you know what I mean? It's not, everything starts sounding good. So what I do is like, I'll finish out a record, I'll sit on it, I won't listen to it for like a day or two, and then when I play it back, if I'm still like, is dope. Now I'll keep it, if not, that's like basically the first phase. And after that, I like to do it, digest it, and then see if I'm, reflect back on it, see if it's still good. So it's like, it just wasn't sitting with me. And then like, I was finally able to get into a studio with um, my producer, Care, Chris. And then like, we sat down and we tweaked the knobs just how I wanted them. And we made the sound, it, it sounded like a work rather than just like, yo, some dude sending me beats over email and me, you know, just going over him. It was more so it's like a process, like, you know, I would lay down some lyrics, some more beat was constructed around it. You know, it was just kind of like a, it was very fluent like between us. So it worked out really nice. And that's what kind of was, I was like, all right, yeah, I, I like this, this is the one. And then I put it out in February just now. Music's one of those things is like, you, you fuck up once, you're probably not gonna get that opportunity again. So like, I like to, Make sure every move that I make is like the right one. It's like, there's not really much room to mess up. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause what happens like, I dropped session one, which was like my very first body of work back in 2014. Basically waited almost like two years to drop this. The next one I want to drop within this year, but it's like, I'm definitely going to give them some time to like kind of saturate. Like let 114 play out like, like I'm taking nothing away. I mean, it's my work, right? It's like my child, like let it grow a little bit. But like afterwards, I like probably like by the end of this year, definitely gonna have like one more project out. We're working, uh, I'm trying all kinds of new things, evolving the sound as far as it goes. I'm heading to South by actually right after this. Like we got LA, then we're heading South by. Definitely just gonna do a lot more shows. It's kind of like I want to see the fans in person and start seeing some. We got four shows down in South by. Uh, yeah, man, it's, it's about to be like all kinds of things going on. You know, meet the fans in person. We got all kinds of merch coming. Like, yeah, like more more than just like just SoundCloud. So.